Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to, you guessed it, another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Tuesday, yes I am uploading on a Tuesday, don't even ask. <laughs> I hope you guys are having the most amazing day ever and thank you so much for joining me here today. So today we are actually building in Glimmerbrook and I'm very excited to be able to share the full house with you guys because if you do follow me on my social medias, i.e. Twitter and or Instagram, you may have already seen sneak peeks of this particular house. I've been working on this for the past couple of weeks, not all together. It's only taken me a few sittings to get it done, but it's taken me a little while to get it all together with the footage and the screenshots and with everything else that's going on. Anyway, we're here. It's finally finished. <laughs> it's finally been uploaded and I'm finally sharing it. So I'm very, 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 very excited to be able to share the full process with you all. I'm very much in the autumn mindset now, which is absolutely amazing. Autumn is my all-time favourite time of year, followed very closely by Christmas, but I just love building in autumn in The Sims 4. Now, we are building in summer in this particular house just because I did try it in autumn and it wasn't looking quite as colourful as I had hoped. So, we are building in the summer, but it's it, this is... Sorry, excuse me. This is a family home for some spellcasters. So I don't think I've ever built a house for spellcasters before. So this was really, really refreshing for me to try and do. And I worked extremely loosely from a reference image that I found on Pinterest. It was very fantasy themed and it was just for the general shape of the outside more, more than anything else. And I will warn you now, we do change the colour scheme of the exterior quite a few times so what I'm going through here is I'm just trying to work out if I want to go light and bright if I want to go really warm and autumnal and so we do end up as you saw from the intro video we keep it we keep eat <laughs> what is happening I haven't done a voiceover for a while so I feel like I'm out of touch we keep it relatively light and bright and airy and the reason for that was I just wanted it to look really, really happy and I suppose less like a lot of the other houses that you find out there for spellcasters and I wanted it to be a little bit more unique and a little bit different. Now, another thing that you may have noticed is that the roofing is slightly different on the intro video. I initially was going to do this odd sort of sloped roof, which I do think looks nice and very, very unusual. However, I wasn't in love with it. I don't think it looked the way that I wanted it to, so I do change it off camera. It literally involved me putting two more roof pieces on and I just didn't record it. So I apologize for that, but I did keep in the footage of me changing the swatches on the outside, but I had already changed the roof after that, but I will let you know when that is happening. So currently working on the exterior, as you can see, I used a lot of items from the Realm of Magic pack, of course, because of course we are building in the world of Glimmerbrook, which is the world that shipped with The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. And although I haven't really played with spellcasters since the pack was initially released, I'm, I do love building houses for them. I love building fantasy houses every now and again. It just keeps everything a little bit more interesting and it's a nice change of pace from what I usually do which is normally my suburban houses and the family apartments and family homes and things like that so it is nice to do houses like this because it keeps me on the ball it keeps me my memory refreshed and so I am planning on doing a lot more autumnal themed builds over the next I'd say four to six weeks because we are on the 19th of October currently as I'm recording this voiceover and I've already got a couple more builds in mind for autumn <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil anything for you but one of the builds is taking place in Forgotten Hollow and I think I'm planning on releasing that maybe around Halloween I've just recently taken part in a collaboration called the Sweater Weather Collab with a bunch of amazing simmers. You can check out all the details on my social medias. Um, they're all, they are all linked down in the description below so you can check me out over there if you like. And I have recently just taken part in an amazing collaboration and it was absolutely, it was a lovely experience and I really liked being part of something like that. I haven't done a collaboration with so many simmers ever so this was a, um, a real treat for me and we built in the world of Brindleton Bay so essentially we actually released a save file and I think it's being released today 
if my memory is serving me correctly. So that's being released today. Um, the speed build will probably be released either this coming weekend or at some point next week. I do have the footage ready to go. The house is available to download from the gallery right now, so you can grab it there. I've put the tray files and all of the information on my Twitter page just for now, and I just did hit my keyboard. I do apologize, I do this every time because I talk with my hands. So when I'm doing my voiceovers, like I'll I'll just accidentally touch keys. But anyway, yes, yeah, so that collabor collabor collaboration let's start again collaboration is done and um, the speed build will be uploaded at some point within the next week to 10 days so I'm, I'm really excited to share the the process with you but you can get the house now so as you can see we've we've done a bit more work on the exterior I went to town and I mean absolutely to town on the exterior landscaping as in like all of the sort of climbing ivy and, and all that kind of stuff I really wanted it to look like a fantasy home I wanted it to be really dreamy and just like it was right out of a fairy tale book. That, that's sort of the, the look that I was going for. So hopefully we achieve that with this. You'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments down below. But of course we had to put uh, the pond tool to good use as well. I, you know me, I, I love building a pond in The Sims 4 since we got this tool. I absolutely love doing it and I don't do it with every build that I, that I release but I do it with with so just every now and again it's it's just a nice change of pace and so we do end up lands sort of framing framing and landscaping the pond and I think it ended up looking really dreamy really pretty really nice I'm so happy with how this house came out to be honest and I can't wait to show you the interior because it's very I'm not gonna spoil anything actually because I don't <laughs> first of all I don't know how to really describe it and second of all I don't really want to sort of spoil anything for you guys so yes we're currently working on landscaping the back of the pond here as you can see the house is pushed all the way back to the back of the lot and so there is no back garden but there's a lot of space in the front for your sims to to do whatever they want to do really um, and we do put some I was going to say we put some activities out here. We don't. We put a washing line. That's not really an activity, is it? I mean, it is, but it's not a fun activity. So there's a lot of space at the front, but no back garden. And that was simply because I didn't really know what to do for a spellcaster's house back garden. I couldn't come up with any ideas. So I thought, let's push the house back to the back of the lot and then just frame sort of the front and make it look really fairy tale esque. So that was the thought process there. But the pond is almost finished at this point. And if I do st still sound a little bit raspy, I did have a cold. You could probably hear it a lot more in my previous speed build which was my base game family house i'll link that up in the top right for you if you want to check that out that is a fantastic video and a fantastic house to download base game only so wonderful if you don't have any packs but yes i i was suffering from a very 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 nasty cold when i recorded that voiceover so i'm still getting over it but i sound so much better than i did in that video <laughs> i can't tell you how much better i feel but yes, um, so now we, what I did was I moved in a sim. And I tend to do this when I get to a certain point in my house builds because I like to try different lightings and I'll move a sim in and I'll try different seasons um, to try and see if I can make the house look a certain way because I'm very particular. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I'm a massive perfectionist when it comes to things like this so it, it does take me a while to, to get everything together for the, from the screenshots to the intro video and everything like that and that's just because I want my houses to look as good as they can so I do end up moving sims in it tends to be when I've almost done the exterior and then I'll just add some bits and because I wanted to start adding the swans and the ducks into the pond obviously I wanted to do that in live 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 mode so that I could see where they spawned, just to make sure they were all spaced out. Although, while I was recording the initial intro video, there seemed to be two more swans just pop out up out of nowhere. And I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's intentional by The Sims team, but I tend to find if, I, if I've been on one particular lot for quite a long time, then they tend to spawn more 
than there were that I'd originally placed. Anyway, it might be a glitch. I don't know if it's intentional or not. But here we are just changing the color scheme of the exterior of the house. As you can see, the roofing has changed, as I had mentioned earlier. I just think this looks a lot better. And so we end up going for a lighter color scheme, just making it look brighter and more fairy tale esque. And I, I just prefer the look of this of this one. So I, I'm I'm really I'm really pleased with how it turned out. <laughs> so sorry if you just heard my throat gargle i've just taken a drink of my water and clearly my throat's just decided to go so <laughs> i do apologize if you just heard that anyway now we're moving on to the interior so the floor plan was quite tricky to begin with just because i had this weird jut out space at the front but we do end up turning that into like a bit of a spell room back but you'll have to see that in just a few moments when we move on to it so i think the first room we work on is the kitchen if i'm not mistaken and we do change the color swatches of the doors and the archways just to match the exterior that we went for so we end up changing them to a slightly lighter wood tone as you can see here and i just think they look so much better so this is the kitchen it has an archway that you go through and then it has a really nice stained glass door as you can see here that leads to the living room so i decided with the interior to keep it very mystical very spellcastery but keep it quite light and i wanted it to match the exterior color scheme so this is what we ended up going for i'm really pleased with how this turned out and it's it's a very decently sized kitchen there is not a separate dining space so there is just a small dining table with two chairs in the kitchen itself which I think works really well for the kind of style of house that we're going for so we end up using these kitchen counters from the um which pack are they from please <laughs> country living pack. <laughs> I'm so rusty with my voice I do apologize and uh the kitchen cabinets are also from cottage living just in a different swatch i like to mix and match my countertops to the cabinets just because i think it makes kitchens look a little bit more unique more often than not i go for the same style just for a different color so i think in this kitchen it worked quite well it's very blue themed and there's, there's a lot of character in this kitchen and i really wanted it to just be in keeping with the tone of the build so yes very happy with how this one turned out and i end up using these chairs from the paranormal stuff pack i'm just reminiscing i'm i'm blasting myself back i'm pretty sure it was last year we got the paranormal stuff pack announcement and then obviously the pack came out itself and that probably is my favorite stuff pack to date i i think it was so fleshed out it was so like meaty it was just fantastic and i'm hoping that they continue on with that with those kind of stuff packs you know because i, th I think that's that was just a fantastic one long may it long may it continue is what i'm trying to say so the kitchen is pretty much done i think and now we are about to move on to the living room if i'm not mistaken yes yeah, so this is possibly my favorite room in the house it's again a very strange shape but i think we utilize the space really really well and you'll just see me here sort of trying to work out where i want to put what so we end up using the sofa from cottage living just because i thought it was a really nice sort of way to tie all the blue in and uh, we end up taking down these windows on the left hand side here and replacing them with a the fireplace just because I wanted it to be very cosy and very cottage and just I, I wanted to get this feeling across with this build so hopefully we we did achieve that with this one but I, I had a lot of clutter there's a lot going on in this room but I figured since it was a spellcaster's house that I could kind of go a little bit nuts with the clutter and the detailing so I love doing houses like this because it, it does allow me to do a lot of clutter and go a little bit overboard with the decor and it looks very busy especially in the screenshots so again if you follow me on my social media channels then you will have already seen previews of this room in particular because I actually finished this last week at some point I think I, fin I ended up finishing the house today so I, I did the entire upstairs today I sat down and did that but the I, I did the rest of this last week at some point um, I, and then in between that I was doing my collaboration build and so I've, I've been I've just been very very busy although I haven't actually posted in just over a week I think it is now um, I think I've sort of decided rather than have a set upload schedule I'd rather just build 
edit and then upload build edit upload as on when I feel that creative burst because if I get into the situation where I'm just building for the sake of getting a build out that week and it's not very good that's not the kind of content that I want to provide you guys with and so I'm kind of thinking that's going forward that's probably the best thing for me right now obviously with me growing my channel I think that may have to be looked at especially in the new year but I think for now that's possibly how I'm going to approach it so the the living area of this room let's move on living area area of this room is pretty much done I uh put a cauldron here which I think looks really cool obviously your sims can cook mac and cheese in this cauldron I don't think now I might be wrong because I haven't actually played with spellcasters per se I don't think they can create potions or anything like that with this cauldron which I find quite strange if I'm incorrect please do let me know but as far as I'm aware I don't think your sims can actually make potions and things like that in this cauldron which seems a bit of a missed opportunity if that is the case but your sims can definitely make mac and cheese in this which I think is a really nice touch so and you can't have a spellcaster's house without a cauldron so I just decided to put this in this area of the living room and I think it works really really well so we do use a lot of items from realm of magic cottage living paranormal and vampires we we end up using a bit of a concoction of all those um expansion packs etc stuff packs game packs to create the look that we were going for here and it's been a while since i've used items from the paranormal pack i think the last time i used them to this extent was definitely at the back end of last year when the pack was released and I was very excited for it. I did a few videos when that pack came out and I think I want to release some more paranormal builds, especially over the Halloween season. Again, I, I know I mentioned it in the at the start of this video, but I definitely want to release a build on Halloween itself. I love Halloween. We, we talked about this at the beginning of the video. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I absolutely love Halloween. And I would like to release at least one really spooky build in Forgotten Hollow because I'm feeling very inspired to do so. So I, I think at some point this week, I'm going to get the ball rolling on that. And then as I mentioned earlier, my collaboration build for the Sweater Weather save file will be, will be up on the channel within the next week to 10 days. So yeah, I've, I've got a lot planned. And then we move on to the Christmas builds. I cannot believe it is October already and it's two months till Christmas. Like that is crazy. That's absolutely insane. It's my birthday first. It's my wedding anniversary before that. No, it's my birthday, then my wedding anniversary and then it's Christmas. So I, I don't know where this year's gone. It's, it's pretty crazy. I'm not complaining because I absolutely love this time of year, but I just feel like the last since January it's just been an absolute blur I don't know if anyone else feels the same anyway as you can see <laughs> the living area has pretty much been completed at this point um it's very cluttered it's there's a lot going on but it works so this is the little spell room we end up putting a table in here where your sims can I can't remember what they call it I think your sims can speak to ghosts <sighs> What on earth do you call it? I'm having a mind blank here. Anyway, it's like a it's like the table that came with paranormal stuff pack. What do you sims do on it? They like conjure the spirits and speak to the spirits. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna stop rambling. We end up putting that in here. There's a chair, there's a bookshelf. Initially, I was gonna put these planters down so that you sims could maybe grow some inside plants, but I decided to come away from that and place the Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. No, no, I'm not even going to try and think of it. Anyway, <laughs> then I found some mushrooms and I was like, okay, let's put these outside because it's very fantasy-esque. So you'll see me here just adding some mushrooms outside, which I think look really, really nice. And then I end up going through the debug menu in the Realm of Magic pack. And then we end up finding like these potion bottles and all sorts going on. So I just, I just think it looks really, really good. I had so much fun building this and I hope that comes across and I really hope you guys seance table sorry I hope you guys have some use for this but yeah <laughs> seance table it's a seance table right your sims can talk to ghosts and 
and they, that's how they get Bone Hilda and stuff, right? So I thought this was a really nice little room to sort of put together for you <laughs> Sims to spend a bit of time and talk to some spirits, read a book and just be all witchy. I don't know. That, that, was, the, that was the thought press process for me there. Anyway. <laughs> Um, then we work on the. I end up going back to the kitchen and just changing the wallpaper because I was like, it's not looking homey enough for me. So I end up changing the wallpaper and then we move on to the hallway here. So it's a very big hallway. I could have probably fit a downstairs bathroom down here, just thinking about it now. But I decided against that. I decided to just turn it into this big entryway. So when your Sims walk in, it's just like this. I wouldn't say grand, it's definitely not grand, but I wanted to clutter it up in a way that, that would depict this sort of spell caster's house so that's that's all we end up we end up doing here and you'll you'll you will see me throughout many times in this video going back and i'll find items and be like oh that would look really good in the living room or that would look good in the kitchen that would look great in the bedroom and then let's let's duplicate that and swap that so there's there's a lot of <laughs> decision making mind changing that goes into this house it's Definitely, I was very comfortable doing this style, but I think it took me a while to get into the swing of it, I guess is, is what you could say. Now moving on to the upstairs, the last portion of the house. So this is where the three bedrooms and one bathroom goes. So I was actually quite surprised that I managed to fit three bedrooms up here, to be honest. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It is just a one bathroom house because I didn't think there was any need to to put another bathroom in here. So we, we have a master bedroom, a child's room, and then a nursery as well, because I thought that, that would be quite nice. I think that fits a lot of Sim family dynamics. So this is the master bedroom. Odd shape again, but I think um, a lot of the rooms in this house are a bit of an odd shape because the house itself is a very strange shape. So I suppose that would make sense. Uh, so um, keeping with the sort of autumnal pumpkin-y fantasy theme I decided to put some pumpkins in here and just keep it very magical and I don't really know how else to describe it it's, it's definitely not your normal master bedroom but it's not a normal house either so I, I definitely wanted this to be in keeping with the tone of the rest of the house I didn't want it to stick out I wanted it to blend in and this is what we ended up using here these curtains are from realm of magic I can categorically say that I've never used these before <laughs> so it was nice to use them in this setting and I loved seeing how the cottage living items managed to integrate with all of these sort of like fantasy items I think they integrate really really well and I also realized when I was doing my collaboration build just how well the windows worked in a non-cottage house. I did a typical suburban house in Brindleton Bay and I used the windows from Cottage Living and I think they worked really well, much to my surprise. So it's nice to see that they work outside of Henford-on-Bagley as well as inside of Henford-on-Bagley. So uh, this is where the dresser is going and we decorate it up just a little bit. There's, there's a lot going on in this room, but I wanted it to be cluttered and kind of small feeling I didn't the room isn't small but I definitely wanted to get that cozy vibe going on here so I'm hoping that we that we managed to pull that off and I'm just I'm really happy with it overall so I hope you guys are too so I yeah what's nice is I'm using a lot of items that I wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards in a normal build and seeing how I can make it all come together in this unusual house is again very refreshing for me and I love doing stuff like this every now and again this sort of fantasy themed house because again it does keep me on my toes it pulls me away from my comfort zone a little bit although I was very comfortable doing this itself it's definitely a niche build style I suppose you could you could sort of describe it as but yes it's uh it's it's lovely and and I really really like doing this sort of stuff and again I go back to I can't wait to to try and integrate these items into a building forgotten hollow maybe for a family of vampires or just maybe I'm doing a haunted house or something like that anyway we'll see this is the children's room there's just one children's bed in here and we definitely went very soft in here and we use this bed from realm of Mag magic never used it before in my life but i thought what better build to use it in than this one i just thought it fit really really well with the theme 
and the color scheme again it's very sort of pastely muted but it has its own color scheme too so there's a lot of greens creams and i didn't really have a specific gender in mind as to who might be using this room so you can pretty much move any sim you like in here they could be a child or they could be a teen even it's not really very childlike either so i thought that would be quite versatile for you guys and um, i would absolutely love to see the kind of families that you are moving in here it would really really fascinate me really because i again i don't play with spell casters so i'd absolutely love to see your supernatural sims families living in here or maybe you can move a single sim in here and redo the bedrooms and and change them into something else i i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know when what you guys do when you download my houses whether you just keep them exactly as they are or whether you make some changes here and there so yeah i'd be, I'd be very interested to see um what sort of families you move in here so i'm trying to use items that I wouldn't normally use in a regular build of mine and i know we've spoken about this already but that really was key in this house as to how i wanted to get this fantasy theme across and so i think i was trying to keep it very i don't know how to describe it really but i was kind of thinking harry pottery vibes mixed with like not beauty and the beast but sort of along those lines does that does that even make any sense it probably doesn't at this point because i feel like i'm going into that rambly stage in the voiceover where i'm like nearing the end and i just go on a rachel ramble that's what we're going to call them now from now on rachel rambles and then i just start going off on a tangent so <laughs> this this is the main bathroom and the only bathroom of the house and i actually use a base game bathtub which is this one here and the toilet and the sink that come with Realm of Magic. Again, never, ever, ever used these before, but I thought, why would I not use them in this house? It's a fantasy house, right? So I didn't want the bathroom to be really basic and not in keeping with the rest of the house. I really wanted it all to just come together and all be the same theme. And I didn't want you guys to be like, oh, that's just like a normal looking bathroom though. Like why would the bathroom be normal looking when the rest of the house is clearly quite fantasy? based so <laughs> this is the bathroom uh, there's not too much going on but i definitely got my point across i think this is the nursery i was initially going to make this a second bathroom and then i thought no i don't think there's any need for that so we end up turning it into a nursery you could turn it into a toddler's room or another child's room if you wanted to whatever you want to do with it it's quite it's quite a versatile house to be fair and it's much bigger than it looks initially as well which i think's quite it's very deceptive it's a very very deceptive house and normally when i build houses i'm like i get in, onto the interior and i think oh that's smaller than i thought and recently i'm thinking this is a lot bigger than i realized and so <laughs> this was one of those houses to be completely honest <laughs> so i'm gonna wrap things up here i think everybody i'm pretty sure you are sick of me talking because i'm sick of hearing myself talk Anyway, this house is available to download from the gallery. My origin ID is Rachel Ped. Tray files are linked down in the description box below. You can get them from Sim File Share. Screenshots as well are at the end of the video if you'd like to see what the house looks like in game. But thank you so very much for joining me here today, everyone. You all take care and I will see you next time I post a video. Bye.